Hello everyone, Video4BT here. Today I want to show you how you can export your finished project using the Adobe After Effects render queue. So let's get started. Go ahead and click your timeline that you want to export. Make sure it's highlighted. Next thing you want to do is go to the Composition tab at the top of the screen and select Add to Render Queue. I'll bring up a little section at the bottom of the screen. There are a couple options available, but let's start with the output. Go ahead and click right here where your movie file is. I'll bring up this window. I'm going to go ahead and name this file version 002 so I can keep track. Now I already have an exports folder, so you can save it wherever you want to, Dropbox, Desktop, but I'm going to go ahead and save it to this folder I have created specifically for this. So hit save, and that's good to go. The next setting is this little section right here called best settings. So if you click on it, I don't really find myself using this too often, but I'll just go through you know, a couple things real quick that you may use. So you can select which quality you want to export, whether it's best or a, you know, a draft. Um, let's go ahead and leave it best for now. You're going to export half resolution, third, quarter, and so forth. But we'll leave it full for now. There's a couple other advanced settings in the top right and the bottom left. Um, but let's go ahead and hit OK. Everything looks good. Next thing you want to do is click where it says lossless. Now we'll open up an output module settings window. So I want to export as a QuickTime movie. That looks good. Uh, if you go down here, there's some other options as well as your video output options. Uh, say if you had a, a, you know, a composition which had transparency, like a lower third, you would go ahead and select RGB plus alpha. But for now, uh, mine doesn't have any of that. So I'll go ahead and just leave it as uh, RGB. Now, if you go ahead and click right here where it says format options, you can actually select the codec which you want to export in. So let's say I wanted to export an Apple ProRes 422LT. Just go ahead and click it right there and hit OK. And there's other options as well, such as resize, crop, or audio output, but all those look good by default. So let's go ahead and click OK. And now all we have left to do is go over to the right over here and hit render. And as you can see, the blue bar is going. That means it's rendering it out. Um, right here, you'll see it has your elapsed time, basically how long it's taken so far. And it has your estimated remaining time right here, which has one minute, which looks like it's going to be done before that. There you go. Now it's finished rendering, and you want to check to make sure it's all there. Go ahead and double click Cheetah's version 002. And there you go. Looks like it worked. Hello, my name is Tazon Day. So let's go ahead and run back through it really quick just so you can get the hang of it. So highlight your timeline, composition, add to render queue. Select your output. Let's go ahead and name it version 003. Hit save. Go to lossless, everything looks good. Let's go ahead and click format and select our desired ProRes 422LT. Hit OK, hit OK again, and then render. And that's it. Now you know how to use Adobe After Effects render queue.